Hey, my beautiful, powerful Virgos. How y'all doing today? Welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, go ahead, like, and subscribe, hit that notification button. If this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and dive deep into this daily energy. We're gonna start with our uh, questions. Messages of love and light spirit. What is that you want our beautiful Virgos to know at this time? What should they be asking themselves? Messages of love and light for my beautiful, powerful, Virgos. Okay, Virgo. The first question is, how do I show love to myself to others? How do I show love to myself to others? Spirit is saying right now, I feel like you're going to be around uh, people where you're going to have to set up healthy boundaries. It's like, it's like you're going, we're on a new level, right? So with this new level, there's new, new people, new energies around. And with that, it's like you're starting from the bottom line here. You know, it's like, okay, when you first go to uh, go to high school, how you're a freshman, then a sophomore, then a junior, then a senior, then you go to college and you're a freshman and you're a sophomore. You, it's like you're going into the spiritual world or you, you're going to the next level and people are viewing you as a freshman. You know, because like now you're on a new level. So the people that been on that level viewing you as a freshman. Spirit says it's time for you to set up them healthy boundaries so they'll know, bitch, I'm a straight senior in this bitch. You know, I'm creme de la creme. I am uh, cum de du la. <laughs> you feel me? So with this, Spirit said, make sure in this new surrounding, this new area that you are setting up healthy boundaries because this is how you show people that you love yourself and that you are very much aware of the shit that they be on. Okay, very go. Messages of love and light. Spirit. A message down beautiful for my beautiful Virgos. Ooh, okay. So the next question we have is, am I doing more of the things that keep me alive or more of the things that make me feel alive? What makes me feel alive? Spirit says right now, we're going to an area where we're no longer, uh, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. We're no longer uh, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul, you know. Spirit said, now it's time for us to truly walk in enjoying ourselves, enjoying life, understanding, ex enjoying the experience that life has to offer and not the gloom and doom part that everybody wants you to uh, make your reality, but the, the, the part where where you could create whatever you desire and then you experience that creation here on earth. So it's like really experiencing heaven on earth, the heaven that you created. The next question we have for you, Virgos, is what advice on life would I give to myself if I was a mother and wish nothing but happiness for my child? Spirit is saying right now there could be a situation that you're in and it's kind of hard for you to depict or, or hard for you to analyze what needs to be done next. Spirit says take yourself out of the situation. Yeah, mentally take yourself out of a situation and place one of your babies in there or place somebody that you love dearly in there, in, in your particular situation. Now, how would you want them to handle it? Think about it. All the bullshit, all, all, all of the all of the details of the of the subject of the situation ship. Take you out of it and put somebody that you love dearly, and then you give them advice on how to get through your situation. You see how spirit just made you more aware. How no, don't, don't deal with that. Spirit says, love yourself like a love child. Don't let nobody play with you. And there's a situation that's coming up right now that you, in order for you to feel like, feel like you experience something, it's something, someone you're going to have to check when it's uh, being about you. Don't let nobody play with you. And that's another reason Spirit saying Virgo is something about healthy boundaries. It's something about boundaries that you need to make sure that you solidify. Mm-hmm. Some people are coming in, they're going to try to push your boundaries because you're going to a different level. So they're going to try to see if they could bully you. Motherfuckers, do they not know we the Virgo? Do they not know? Well, I think you're going to have to tell somebody. That's all I got to say. I just have an energy. I have a feeling. Virgo, you're going to have to put your foot in somebody's shit because they playing with you. Messages of love and life for my beautiful, powerful, brilliant, sexy ass. I ain't taking no shit. Virgos, I just seen a magician. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the thing is, family, you manifesting things that people are not uh, even uh, accustomed to having their self. And I also feel like I keep going back to that, to, to that saying I was saying, like how it's freshmen, sophomores and juniors. See, you on another level, you in a new energy field. People are seeing you as the new guy, the new person. But the thing is, they just don't know that you a whole OG. 
And I feel like what you manifesting, it's like, dang, the new kid is smart. The new kid got this, but the, it, and, and I feel like somebody's going to test you because what you, you're manifesting things so fast, it's kind of like a, people are feeling intimidated by you. Ooh, Virgo, you intimidating some motherfuckers with they intimidated ass. First of all, I'm going to need you to get your, your, your security up. I'm going to need you to be self-aware of your motherfucker self, okay? You just start putting in that work. I feel like somebody is looking at you manifesting all the things that, uh, the things that they've manifested, that they desire, but in the same time, they feel some type of way. So they come in with this kind of sneaky like energy. You hear me? Look, I can't make this up, bro. We got the five of swords. You hear me? The five of swords is there is somebody uh, around you. I feel like they want to get one up on you. And with this getting one up on you, it's like somebody going to try to handle you in front of somebody else. Like like if you ain't going to check their ass. See, I feel like so for some of y'all Virgos, I feel like you be so much in your peace energy that... People just feel like, oh, I could run over them. But they do not know the thug that you was before you got all mm, come to that crumb, peace, love, life, happiness. You feel me? They didn't they they didn't know you before you came uh uh brother sunflower or sister sun rays. They didn't know you before that. So I feel like they gonna come in with some type of fly energy, some type of uh Something with some decept, some deceptfulness or something like they're gonna try to handle you in a in a sly way and you're gonna have to check that ass. Let them know I'm not the two, three, or the four, but I am the one that's gonna check that ass. And and when it's and because this five of swords, this five of swords is not a, am I doing more of the things that keep me alive or or more of the things that make me feel alive, I feel like that could be somebody that's gonna come in because they see you manifesting things, right? And I feel like they're going to want to impose themselves on you so that they can gain something from you. It's it, it's a it's an energy of somebody wanting to be attached to you, but only to deceive you. Why? Because you have this new beginning. Mm -hmm. Somebody is manifesting your downfall. Somebody is manifesting coming in so that they can they feel like they're going to destroy you. But little do they know they're only destroying themselves. Mm. And also spirit is saying, Virgos, because you have this new beginning coming in, everything you manifested is coming in, spirit says, but you have somebody that's in your circle that is, that is still trying to one up you. You already know who this is. Spirit says, I'm going to need you. I don't care how long you've been with this person, how long this person been in your vicinity, but spirit says, I need you to treat yourself like a love child. If you know your child have a sneaky ass friend around them and you know they're about to come into a, a bunch of abundance, what you going to tell your baby? First of all, you know that motherfucker ain't about shit. They're going to try to take everything from you. You need to talk to yourself like that, Virgo, okay? Because you got somebody around your camp that's shown they sneaky behavior, that's been lied, that don't got the truth in them. You hear me? That be sleeping on things when you know they should be woke to, especially when it comes to things for you. Spirit says it's time for you to... Uh, Wake up and get your camp in order because ain't no point of of of, of maintaining all. I mean, of of gaining all of this abundance just to have it taken or stolen from from you from somebody that you know ain't right by you. Messages of love and light, spirit. Let me go ahead and um, yeah. Spirit says, look, you it, it you already know this person right now. It, it's taking you some strength even in the past to hold to to like it's like to even speak up. I don't care if this is your mama, dad. I don't care if it you you tell Tell them respectfully that this is your fucking life and if they on some lying bullshit you're not fucking with them matter of fact it, we, we too grown you ain't got to tell them shit just disappear hell move back and spirit says that's why you guard it you guard against all of this sneaky energy because you can feel it and you know what you got coming for you you better protect your house because it's somebody that wants to come in and, and and mess up what you've been manifesting why because you got the will of fortune right here this is a new freaking beginning and spirit says as you're going into this new beginning you need to treat yourself like a love child and, 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 and make sure that all the situations that's going into this new is 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 going to be uplifting you hear me it's not going to be toxic message love and light one more card for my beautiful powerful virgos yeah the spirit said yeah what did i just say yo yeah so the eight of cups spirit says yeah walking away from all this negative ass energy that's why you guarded ghosting the motherfucker because you are no longer uh, putting up with their stuff you're not gonna let them try to manipulate you and then also why because you got this ten of pentacles coming you have some type of financial breakthrough financial wealth abundance is coming your way virgo and spirit says i need you to guard your grill guard your heart because these motherfuckers you already know don't don't deserve to be in your presence and they damn sure don't deserve to get none of this blessing 
All right, I'm going to leave that there, Virgos. I love you all in my heart. If y'all want a personal reading uh, or if you want to donate to this beautiful channel, all the information will be in the description below. I love you. Love yourself. Take action, all right? We don't, we're not obtaining all of this wealth so that we could lose it. That's the reason why it took us so long to get here. So it wasn't like no overnight fame or no overnight abundance. Spirit says, I'm telling you this so that you could be mindful. Whoever this motherfucker is, it's time for you to get, get uh, drop their ass like some hot, some hot coal. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Y'all have a wonderful day, my babies. <laughs>